Hey everyone, it's Brad Hornby here. That's the last of recent Calgary Flames news here. As I'm still fresh of talking on about the Calgary Flames extending General Manager Branch 11 to a multi-year extension here. But another thing that uh, hockey fans get passionate about is jerseys and fashion here. As you're going to still see this this season more but you're going to see more of this this season, especially at home. As the Calgary Flames recently revealed their jersey schedule. And they're going to be wearing these third jerseys more often this season. And personally, I actually like the original Reds. And there's actually going to be a couple games they're going to wear their original whites here. In addition to the 2019 Harris Classic here. That's going to happen in a few weeks. Playing at Mosaic Stadium in Regina where the Rough Riders play. But last season, the Gagger Flames wore their retro red jerseys in 12 home games. And they were going to wear their retro reds in all home playoff games. Fortunately, we only had three of those last season as we had a very brief cameo with the Colorado Avalanche, with this being the uh, 40th season of the NHL playing in Calgary. I mean, this is the 48th overall, if you count the eight years in Atlanta here. But this is the 40th anniversary of the Calgary Flames in uh, Calgary here. I'll put the schedule in the description here. But uh, in total, the Calgary Flames will be wearing their retro jerseys 18 times this regular season including the one at the Harris Classic. So they're going to be wearing their Retro Reds at 15 home games. And they're going to be wearing their Retro Whites in two additional home games. So almost half of the games, Calgary won't be wearing this at home. And they, you know, you see their Whites on the road there, which is kind of just an inverse of this, White, and their Flaming Sea is red here. But I think this is ultimately going to be paving the way that eventually the Flames are going to announce that they're going to be going back to wearing their original reds and original whites full time here. And personally, I mean, I was around during those days where uh, the Calgary Flames wore that as their jerseys and have the most nostalgia on there because when you look at the whole franchise as a whole here, our best days were uh, wearing those jerseys and we won the Stanley Cup with these. And, uh, you know, if you look at the banners, I mean, all our numbers are represent old retro numbers and colors. And same with the, the Forever Flames. They were wearing their original jerseys then. And then a lot of teams are slowly seem to be going back to their original colors and jerseys there. I mean, Vancouver is even going to be wearing their skate jerseys a little more often. I mean, Vancouver is the only unique city you can think of where they've really changed their color scheme over the years but the flames they've always worn red and it looks beautiful and actually now with the advent of HD technology here the red actually looks like red because I remember you know the old green TVs and this red here it uh, it looked actually a little orangish and it just looked weird but now with the HD the red looks like red, and, and you, you know, even all the red jerseys that we've had over the years there, it had a different shade of red here, but there's just something with that classic red that, you know, that's really the Calgary Flames colors, and personally, they need to go back to wearing the original reds full-time. I guess we'll wear original reds full-time at home, and then originally wear our original whites on the road here, and this is just my personal speculation here, but let's assume the Calgary Flames qualify for the 2020 Stanley Cup playoffs here. The Calgary Flames are going to announce they're going to be wearing their retro colors all throughout the playoffs for the 40th season here. I'm going to put that out there first. And Flames marketing, make it happen. We want our old jerseys back. All our, I mean, they all fit in file with the sea of red. And I have several myself, but ultimately, you know, the old saying goes, the more things change, 
the more things stay the same and uh, I want to see our original colors back as our jerseys full time. For a third jersey, you know, maybe it's time to dust off the, uh, it's, it's a horse, not a dragon or a donkey. And you should dust off the, uh, the old horse, flaming horse jersey and make that our third jerseys again, like make it more, you know, modernized, but, uh, and change, I guess, of course, if they brought those back, they'll change it enough so that it, uh, has to conform with today's uniforms and, uh, make it different enough so they can make money off of that, but, uh, I think it's time we need to go back to our retro full time, especially after the season, and bring back the flaming horse for our thirds, and, uh, that's just my opinion here, but it's all red, looks beautiful in the sea of red here, and, you know, this is definitely the colors that we cheer loud and proud for, and I'll have the schedule right in the description here, but you're going to see more retro red and a few games sprinkling wearing our retro whites there. So what do you think? Is it is this paving the way for the Flames to eventually announce that retro colors are going to be back because they're full-time jerseys? I mean, other teams I could think of that changed radically and have gone back is, you know, the Buffalo Sabres. I mean, they changed their colors, their logo. Then they had that disaster slug logo. Now they're back with that running buffalo in the circle there. Washington Capitals, they're kind of back to that old Capitol Stick Stars logo after they had that screaming eagle there. And they have a nice sharp third. And then the Pittsburgh Penguins, I mean, they eventually gone back to their glory jerseys when they won their first two cups of Mario. And even then they dust off their blue ones once in a while. Those are teams I could think of if Edmonton could finally get rid of those orange NDP jerseys. Edmonton's essentially have gone back to their original jerseys and uh, I'm sure maybe the Winnipeg Jets will maybe eventually go back to uh, the original Jets. But there's as many teams and I mean the Arizona Coyotes are going to dust off their Chikinga jerseys when they were the first Phoenix Coyotes in that southwest pattern there. And then I mean the Kings, I mean they always wear those Crown Royal jerseys once in a while, and even then they're going to wear those uh, black and silver when Gretzky was there. So uh, what is old is new again, and Calgary is no exception. And I think, I mean, they're all they're all great jerseys. The only jerseys I didn't like was that word mark that had the small C in Calgary. I mean, I didn't, I didn't mind that uh, shoulder patch. It looked all right, but I just... Those jerseys looked like a cheap uh, t-shirt that uh, you buy at a tour shop. And I'm very glad they didn't bring those back. But uh, bring back the old reds and whites, flames. Make it happen. And if you need a third jersey, bring back the horse head. That's my opinion there. So what do you guys think in the comments? And of course, if you enjoy everything I do on my YouTube channel, just make sure you hit like, subscribe. Go Flames Go! And uh, hopefully... We're going to still be Stanley Cup contenders here, and there'll be a lot more My Calgary Flames recap videos past the first round this year, but I can dream. That's the beauty of hockey at this time of year, beginning of October, is we can dream, and we all say we have a chance until games actually happen here. So go Flames go, and I'll see you in the next video.